Hi everyone, we're Calvin here. So let's just talk about the weekly contest 14, uh, fourth question, number of ship in a rectangle. So this problem is an interactive problem. So um, in the Cartesian, they will put uh, ship anywhere and they have an API called c.hasship and that receives two parameter for the top right and the bottom left that will form a rectangle and will return a true if um, inside that rectangle contains a ship and otherwise it will return a false. So the question here, they will give us a top right and left bottom that will form a rectangle and ask us to return how many ship is inside the rectangle. So it's guaranteed that the ship is less than 10 in that rectangle. So yeah, the API here is only written as a boolean, which say it contains and not contains. And they want us to implement a method that um, return us the number of ship that guarantee the number of ship inside the range is guaranteed is less than 10. And they also limit our call to 400 calls to the hash ship. And if we call more than that, then it will be assumed as a wrong answer. So given here the example, so inside this range, how many ship are there? So it will be three, but um, we uh, they only provide us an API called hash ship. So we can call hash ship in any of the range inside the rect rectangle, but we can only call it for 400 times. So how are we going to solve this problem? So this problem can be solved using a uh, um, recursion. So um, every time we want to uh, we want to search like um, we search the hole if it contains ship then we go to each of the quarter inside and if any of the quarter doesn't contain ship then we stop at that time but if some if some quarter have uh, a ship inside then we divide it by four again and decide whether the ship they have ship inside and if they have ship we keep going in as a recursion function so um, let's take a look on the implementation here so when right and left is um, under the same line so we don't want to um, split it by four but we can split it by two um, because um, yeah it's already uh, the minimum of the width and otherwise if it's already minimum of the height then we also only split the width and if it's the minimum of the width then we only split the height and if it's already um, end up with the one unit so top equals bottom left, left equals right this means um, we are verifying one exact rectangle so in that case we will return a count of one or return a count of zero if it doesn't have zip and um, when it's not the same it, when the width or the height is not one then we will explore all four of the recursion um, so the first quad, the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant, and then add all of it in, and then basically that will be the answer of uh, each of the recursion. Also notice here um, when the condition is not valid, I valid I validated here. So if the num the top coordinate is less than bottom coordinate or the right coordinate is less than left coordinate, then we will return a zero because that's basically not a valid rectangle and yeah when they goes in uh, we also have a validation here so when the range doesn't have um, any ship so we query and it say it doesn't contain ship we should terminate um, we shouldn't go keep going inside but if it have ship then we keep um, doing our divide and conquer and um, try to find the value so that's it for this question thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest